Hey there, it's Dave with Flipper Forest. Got open our project scheduler here. Just want to answer a frequently asked question that a lot of users ask is how do you change the overall project start date or how do you change the overall project duration of a project once you load in one of our schedule starter templates here. So uh, first when you initially open up the project scheduler you're going to be prompted to use one of our schedule starter templates or you can use a blank project schedule here. I'm going to just load in our cosmetic rehab starter template and I'm just going to load it in on today's date here. So the very first task in the overall project schedule is going to start on the 16th of December here. So you can see it uh, loaded in our overall cosmetic rehab timeline. You can see how it's structured as it's got the overall cosmetic rehab timeline here. Then it's broken down by exterior work and interior work and then we've got all of the actual work items and tasks below those those exterior work items and interior work items. So let's first address the the most commonly uh, requested question that we always get is how do you change the start date of the overall timeline? So you know we've got the cosmetic rehab timeline here a lot of users try to just edit this particular task to change the overall timeline so you'll notice when you try to do that it's got this kind of a grayed out so you can't actually edit it so it's got the time period starting on the 16th and then the overall duration is 32 you can't do anything here and that's because the overall start date and the overall duration is actually based upon all of the subtasks below it so you can see how the cosmetic rehab timeline that's kind of the highest folder structure there and then you've got the other exterior work and interior work folders there and then you've got the uh, exterior work items and then the interior work items below those folder structures so basically what what's happening there is the overall duration of the cosmetic rehab timeline and the overall start date is based upon the subtasks below it so it looks like the very first items that we've got on our project schedule is the exterior painting and it's starting on uh, December 16th. Now if we change that, so you can see how I'm moving this on the schedule on the Gantt chart here, let's change it to a start date of the 10th. You can see how that's affecting the overall start date of the entire cosmetic rehab timeline as well as the exterior work. Um, and then if we go down here, let's say that something on the schedule um, ended up taking a lot longer than we thought maybe the kitchen flooring or something like that or maybe the appliances took a while to get delivered you can see how when I change that duration everything down line from it automatically shifts that's because we got auto scheduling on but you can see how the overall duration was affected there as well so um, again the overall duration of the cosmetic rehab timeline and the overall start and completion dates of the overall cosmetic rehab timeline are based upon the items that are below it. So again right now you can see cosmetic rehab timeline is the overall rehab timeline. Below that we've got another folder here and then below that we've got our actual work items. So this cosmetic rehab timeline this is a project level task. So project level tasks are used for groupings of subtasks. Same thing with the exterior work here. We've got exterior work that is a project level task. And then these other tasks that are below them, those are just regular tasks. So it's kind of the key difference there between uh, the task types that we've got. So these project level tasks, they aren't actually tasks that need to be completed. They're groupings of subtasks. So if you wanted to add something to exterior work, let's just add, let's say we're doing maybe a driveway replacement. I'm going to click that plus icon next to exterior work. Now if I would have pressed it, you know, this one randomly up here, just add a new task, that's going to land outside of the folder structure that we have. So if you, if you do that, um, you'll just want to maybe drag that and drop that underneath wherever you're wanting that to be. So if you wanted that to be under exterior work, that's where you do that. Um, and then you can kind of do these dependencies. So maybe you're not going to do the driveway, replace it until, until after the miscellaneous items is performed on the project you'll see if we start to make this driveway replacement let's say it takes five days you can see how exterior work the overall duration of exterior work is being affected there um, 
So again, that's because these tasks are subtasks of exterior work. And let's let's do this real quick. Let's make the overall schedule. Let's say that we don't the interior work's not going to start until after the exterior work. Let's make the dumpster delivery a dependency based upon exterior work being completed. So now you can see we've got exterior work starting first. Once exterior work's completed, now we can start on the interior work of the property here. And now you can see how that affected our overall duration because now it's 48 days and I think our original schedule was 32 days. If anything on the schedule gets impacted, um, so let's say anything on the critical path gets impacted. So anything that's red is going to impact the overall duration of the project and completion date so you can see let's let's make appliances let's say that we are not able to get appliances on site because we're having some issues with deliveries or availability of those materials you can see how that's impacting the overall duration of the project so again um, what gets asked a lot is you know how do you change the overall start date or how do you change the overall duration again those durations are based completely on the subtasks that are below it. One final trick that you can use if you do want to shift the, the overall project timeline to a certain date, you can drag and drop the entire duration here. So you'll notice how you can just click on it and then drag it. So I guess, for example, if you wanted to move the entire project to start on the 15th, you can just drag it over there. You can watch that start date as you're doing that, and it's just going to shift everything over there. Same thing with you know exterior work. If we wanted to shift the exterior work for whatever reason, maybe it's raining or we're having some bad weather, so maybe exterior work's not going to be able to start until, let's just say, January 1st or something. You can, let's do the third after the holidays here. So now you can shift the entire exterior work that way. So that's a, another trick of the trade there for you um, just to let you know um, if you are wanting to move some of these overall project level tasks you can shift the entire um, project level task by just simply dragging it and dropping it otherwise what you'll what you'll have to do is you'll have to change the actual start and completion dates of the underlying subtask below it so uh, hopefully that makes a lot of sense for you and hopefully clarifies that question on how you can change the overall start and completion date and then also be changing the overall durations of these project level tasks um, and that should clarify that for you if you have any other questions let me know